TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. Well, actually, it's a little bit cloudy out there, but uh, we still see the sun. But this is your 1 p.m. update, and uh, I think we're having a little bit of a technical problem here, so you may not actually be seeing my screen, maybe even my ugly mug uh, during this two-minute update. We'll uh, reboot and do stuff during the uh, breakout here. But let me describe to you what's going on inside of the market. So all the U.S. indices that we track are trading to the downside. The Dow's off 187. The S&P's down 23. NASDAQ's off 119. That's about 7 tenths percent to the downside. The bigger, the biggest loser to the downside, off 1 and 2 tenths percent, is the uh, transports are down 194. Spot Volatonics is now well above its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts the uh, wind at the uh, sales of the uh, sellers out there. So the wind's at the back of the sellers right now. And prices should continue lower during the, uh, well, we'll take a look at our, We'll take a look at our nine panel market update chart, even though you can't see it, but you can visually see it in your mind because you've seen it before. So we're looking at the ES mini. It's up in the upper left hand corner. Now, there's a new profile that is uh, trying to take hold. We won't know until 601 this evening, but right now it seems pretty solid. And the support level on this is going to be 4635. So as long as spot volatility remains above its 50 day exponential moving average, you can write this down. That's at 1773. Price is trading out at 1823 right now. We should expect and anticipate that the S&P will head lower. Its support area, 46.35. If we take a look at the NQ, price is likely headed back to test the top of its daily profile. That's at 16.105. That's where it should find support. But if price closes below that level, then you can see it move down to 15.763 to 15.677. U.S. dollar index isn't doing much. It wasn't able to take out its Rhodes momentum indicator top up at the 94.57 level. Yeah, the charts, uh, Dan, sorry, they're not being shown here. Uh, we've got some type of technical glitch, and we'll get that figured out during the uh, break out there. Yeah, I'm showing the charts, guys. Sorry about that. Don't know why they're not being picked up. Uh, I, we, 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 and we'll get that fixed. Goldilocks is on its way up to resistance. It's got an A to B equals CD with an initial price projection of 1852, but its next battleground is the top of its weekly profile, 1838. Silver, its resistance level is 2492. If price is able to clear that, we'd have an A to B equals CD to the upside. Light Sweet Crew just consolidated inside its daily profile. Resistance there is up at the 8422 mark. And the uh, natural gas now busting below the bottom of its daily profile, suggesting lower price. 30-year treasury. She's at an A to B equals CD to the upside. Next price target in the 164.15-ish area. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. Have a terrific Tuesday for taking